So where are we now? All right. Supreme Court <laughs> ruling. Yes. On the and thank, thank you, Randy, for sending us that article. Um, you know, but, but, what was it? A seven? You can just read it. No, I'm not reading it. I'm going <laughs> to touch on it. I think it was a six to three ruling. Bill's been a little sassy Yeah, it is. Today. It's in the very yeah. first three words. A six to three decision was made in the Supreme Court. Okay, here, good. You read it. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, they're saying that uh, the CDC does not have the authority to uh, have a ban moratorium on, on foreclosures on, uh, no, and evictions. Uh, evictions. Yeah. Uh, which we all knew. Yeah. Gosh, what a surprise. Yeah. And, and, uh, the administration is still fighting this. This is totally unfair. They're, they're just going about it the wrong way. I get people need help, but instead of taking one group of people and making them responsible to um, pay for everyone else. And when you say one group, you're talking about landlords. Yeah. Especially yeah. most land, most houses are owned, you know, four, four houses or less, right? Well, it's, it's five or less. And I think it's what 50% or more yeah. own five or less. Yeah. 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 So, so why is it fair for small businesses to bear the brunt? Well, their, their rebuttal when, on this is that they're, they want to disperse funds to the landlords to help pay right. for the rents is not that aren't getting paid. But the problem is, is they're, they don't have a good uh, system in place to disperse the funds in the first place. Well, the, the, like to me, is it like, why on earth would you need a moratorium on evictions if you just sent the money to the landlords for the rents? That's right. Like yeah. why? Yeah. There's, there's no like, like Here, here's what's the right. process? They still should this, be able to get kicked out if they're Section not Section eight behaving. works very well. Why not have those people apply for relief? And then that money is sent to the landlord. But the problem is, is how do you get them to apply for relief? They're not doing it. They're, the system that's put in that, place that's, is not. That's my, that's my point. Yeah, it's you not set up the right. the evictions in place, and now they have an incentive to reply, well, that's apply a good for point. relief. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. You have maybe a 60-day, uh, you know, kind of leeway thing there. Yeah, you give them some time frame to do it. Right. But yeah, yeah you, you, but then they're going to assume that everybody that's getting ready to be a and you can't, can't read or write, and how are they going to apply for it, and blah blah blah. Which yeah, well, absolutely they have agencies is not for the that. Case. Yeah. Uh, that said, it, it is an efficient way of doing yeah, 39 it. Thirty nine percent of people are paying for those agencies to do that. Yeah. There, <laughs> <laughs> there are, and I'm sorry we we're, we're turning this into a, a bitch fest. Yeah. <laughs> but. But that's what we want to do today. Um, <laughs> I've just about had it. Is what it is. Have you? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm tired of the, the the partisan on both both sides. I'm doing it this way because this is the way it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Instead of listening to everyone yeah. and coming up with a logical solution that would work for everybody. Yeah. So back in the uh, Obama administration, and I haven't told anybody this, but. Um, 2008, 2007, uh, you're, you, most of you already know my story, how uh, I was out of a job at uh, 50 years old, middle management. Uh, my income went down to 25% of what it was. I had it a wife a that hadn't worked in 13 years that needed to get a job. And she went to work in a factory and I was ready to lose my house. I applied for uh, the Obama funds to help protect me from losing my house. 50% of the people that went through that program uh, never had their homes foreclosed on. And, and what they did was they paid your mortgage. If you qualified, they paid your mortgage for six months uh, to go ahead and get you out of, out of problems so you can get back on your feet. And, mm -hmm. and it worked for us and it was a great thing. Um, it was also a uh, second lien on your property. So you couldn't turn around and sell your property for a profit, which was not a problem in 2000. Yeah, I was going right. to say, 2008, 2009, you weren't doing that. Nobody was going to sell for a profit anyway. Yeah. Um, but that said, that was a very efficient program. Mm -hmm. It's not the uh, state's or the federal government's program uh, fault that only 50% of the people that went through the program actually uh, did not end up getting foreclosed right. at some so, point. So what you're saying is the pr government program went and paid the states, the states, well, or, or, or whomever, let's right. just say where it ends the up mortgage company. to the mortgage company directly for right. someone's mortgage. So in that same breath, you could say, man, 
wouldn't lo logic dictate that we pay the landlords directly? Yeah, right. and, absolutely. And they're doing it the same the same way. They're giving that money to the states and block grants to set these things up, but the states aren't doing it right now. Yeah, they're now. doing a miserable don't, job. Of don't know why out. they did it fine with the homeowners things, but they're not doing it with the, well, I know, the I, landlords. I know some of the people were saying like, you know, they have to provide uh, balance sheets, profit and loss statements, all this stuff like for the landlords do to, yeah. to apply. And I'm telling you, if you own, if you own four or five properties, that. you don't, you don't like, you probably don't even know what a balance sheet is. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. There's a lot of them that don't. Well, I understand why they're doing it because it's uh, really easy to rip off the government. And there's, there are some stupid people that actually think they're going to get away with it. Yeah. Well, they could show <laughs> a lease. They could show a bank statement. Yeah. No, eventually they're going to get caught. Um, matter of fact, I saw last night where this couple built the U.S. government for $15 million in PPP funds. Wow. And they were caught. Mm -hmm. But recently they removed their ankle bracelets and they ran off with $2 million of the ill-gotten gains. <laughs> and they're still looking for them. So uh, anyway, it does happen. I understand why they want all this information. They want to prove that there's actually tenants in there and that they're paying. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, you got leases in place. You, you show somebody's address on the utility bills. That's pretty simple. Yeah. I mean, shoot, they were talking about walking, you know, knocking door to door to make sure people were vaccinated. Why don't we just repurpose those people <laughs> door to door to make, you know, is there a tenant in there? All right, let's do this.